Another example for you here, the question says, let <clears throat> T maps the plane to the plane and you're defining matrix A to be cosine theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, and cosine theta. The question says, show that this linear transformation rotates every vector in the plane counterclockwise about the origin. Very good. So this is what we have. We have T maps the plane to the plane and it takes every vector and you have the multiplication between matrix A and vector B. Okay, so let us take a random vector and here you end up having cosine theta, negative sine theta, and sine theta and cosine theta times x and y. But from calculus, remember that. I'll write down the note here for you. For any vector like x and y, it has or it forms an angle with the positive part of x-axis. Let us call it alpha. So with radius r, x can be written as r cosine alpha, and y is r sine alpha. It makes it easier for us to analyze it in terms of sine and cosine. So any vector r cosine alpha, r sine alpha is now mapped into the multiplication of cosine theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, cosine theta, and this guy here, which is r cosine alpha, r sine alpha. We're just doing the multiplication together. So let's see. This guy is equal to going back to pre-calculus. We can see what's going on here. So you have r cosine theta, cosine alpha, minus r sine theta, sine alpha, and now the second row, r sine theta, cosine alpha, plus r. Now here we have cosine theta, sine alpha. But from pre-calculus, we know these are nothing but the sum of angles, am I right? So this guy is equal to r cosine theta plus alpha, and here you have r sine of theta plus alpha. So if you think about the plane, you have a vector x and y with radius r, and here you have angle alpha. This transformation takes this guy, think about the terminal point, and start rotating it counterclockwise. Here you have this point, t of x and y, and the angle here is theta. So let's just erase this. 